Welcome to this guide to accessing your personal library account via the at system from Croydon College. To access your personal library account, go up to the My Library stroke login link at the top of the screen and click on this. You'll be prompted to enter your username and password. Your username is normally your student ID number, which is six digits long, and your password is normally your home postcode in uppercase without the space in it. This will be the postcode that was registered when your account was first created, so if you've moved subsequently it may well be an old postcode. The Remember Me option is available if you're on your own personal PC, but we would advise against ticking this if you're on a PC that's public, as it will make your account accessible to other people. Click on OK and you'll be logged into your personal library account. On the left hand side of the screen it gives you some basic information, so, for example, this customer, we can see they've got five items out on loan and one item overdue. It also tells you if you've got any items that are soon to become overdue, so if they're not yet late, and if you renew them now, you wouldn't get charged any fines. You can also see a history of all the items that you've borrowed, history of all the payments you made, and details about your current and available reservations. So, number of reservations are three, that means there's three items this person's requested, Available reservations too means there's actually two items that they've requested are available in the library for them to collect. You also have access to the personal data. This is the information that we hold in the library system for you. And you can update this and also amend your password from here. So if you click on the modified data link, it'll bring up all the details we hold for you. So at the top, you can change your password to something more memorable if you wanted to. Remember to type the same option into the second box otherwise it won't update. You can also update your address, so there's a field here for updating your address details, your email and your telephone numbers. If you have an email address it is advisable to give it to us because that way we can then email you in advance of items becoming overdue and you can be told when items are available for collection from the library as well, so it will speed up information. When you're happy with editing for details just click on OK if you've entered an email, you'll get an email confirmation to that address. It also means once you've got an email address in here, but if you were to forget your password, it can be emailed to you. If you don't want to edit anything, just click on Cancel.